So I mentioned a minute ago that we have two kinds of judgments so far. We have judgments like unit is a type, so judgments that declare the existence of a type. And we have typing judgments, which say that a given term is of a given type. But I also said that we're going to have two more judgments. And those two more judgments that we're going to be working with are the judgments of equality. So think about these two terms. So we haven't really introduced the type of natural numbers yet, but these are both going to be terms of type natural numbers. So 3 plus 3 and 6 are both well-formed terms. But obviously there's a relationship between 3 plus 3 and 6. 3 plus 3 is 6. And so this is also something that we want to be able to say in the language of hot, is that we have these two terms, and they're in fact the same term. And so this is the judgment of judgmental equality. So we have judgmental equality both between types and between terms. If t1 and t2 are types, then the judgment t1 dot equals t2 says that t1 and t2 are judgmentally equal types. That is, they're the, really the same type. And then if I have little t1 and little t2, which are terms of type t, then I can also assert that t1 is judgmentally equal to t2. So I have a judgmental equality of terms. And again, these are both judgments, and so uh, they can happen in context. So I can say in context gamma, these two types are judgmentally equal, and in context gamma, these two terms are judgmentally equal. So to kind of understand a little bit better what this is, let's move over to our programming interpretation of hot. And let's talk about the idea of confluence. So consider these two terms, 6 plus 6 and 7 plus 5. These are both, again, terms of type natural numbers, and these are going to be judgmentally equal. But what does that mean? So remember the programming interpretation, which says that terms are expressions in a typed programming language. And so if we type 6 plus 6 or 7 plus 5 into our programming language, then what it's going to do is it's going to try to compute those down to some single number. And so what 6 plus 6 and 7 plus 5 have in common is that they both compute to the same number, 12. So this is what I'll call a confluence, is that if I compute these two expressions, I end up at the same place. They come together, they confluence. And so we saw earlier how Agda is a programming language, how it is able to compute uh, using this normalization process. So to give another example, what I'm going to do is I'm going to import Agda I'm going to import agda.builtin.nat, which is the library of natural numbers. So that will allow me to do numerical things. So reload. And so if I infer the type of the expression 6 plus 6, it correctly reports that that is a nat, which is the type of natural numbers, as is 7 plus 5. And so I can normalize those terms or compute them to see that they confluence to the same value. So 6 plus 6 computes to 12. And 7 plus 5 computes to 12. So we would say that 6 plus 6 and 7 plus 5 are judgmentally equal terms of type nat because they both compute to the same thing. And so this is how we think of judgmental equality under the programming interpretation, is that two terms are judgmentally equal if they compute to the same thing. And so a special case of this is equal by definition. So hello word is judgmentally equal to the string hello because we defined it to be that way. Now, unfortunately, the notation for judgmental equality is a little bit jumbled up. So this dot equals notation, I'm taking that from the Introduction to Homotopy Type Theory textbook. 
So that's what we'll be using in these videos for both our informal hot and for our hot deductive system. But if you open up the hot book, then you will notice that they use triple equals for judgmental equality. But in ACTA, we use a double equals. So when I defined hello word to be equal to the string hello, then I use just the usual double equals. So that's actually judgmental equality, but in ACTA. So moral of the story is whenever you open up a source on homotopy type theory, make sure you know what their notation convention is for judgmental equality. So let me close this section on judgmental equality by mentioning that judgmental equality is an equivalence relation. So we can assert all the following laws in our hot deductive system to tell us about how judgmental equality works. And again, here I've written all of these rules without the contexts, but uh, you might see them with the contexts. So this is what that would look like. Okay, so I feel like I've thrown a lot of things at you so far in this video. So let's see all these in practice and do a single unified example of how to introduce a new type into Haunt, both informally, computer formally, and deductive formally.